What's up? My name is Kaylee. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I know you're thinking, where the f have you been, bitch? <laughs> so, I know I look grody as hell, but I thought I would do like a little intro to this vlog because this vlog spans over like two weeks, maybe. I'm not sure, but I really wanted to put this vlog together for you because I had filmed a bunch of clips. Actually, I don't know about a bunch. We're gonna have to see, but I just want to say I'm really sorry for not being consistent with my videos. Actually, I'm gonna do a little self-care and say I maybe I'm not sorry. Maybe I feel guilty, but I was doing myself a favor in the time that I wasn't uploading. <laughs> self-care. I've talked about this before. Ew. I just touched this. Hey guys, this is a haul. This is something I touched. Don't know what it is, but I touched it, so. Don't know what that is. So yeah, while I am kind of upset at myself that I did not upload, I have been sort of taking care of my mental health. I'm not gonna give you too many excuses because there really aren't a lot of excuses and I'm not gonna sit here and bore you with some excuse that you don't give a f about. The fact of the matter is I did not upload, but that's okay because there are things that are gonna happen in life that will not allow me to upload at times. But here I am now with a video that I hope you enjoy. I am in the middle of making my editing. Nope. Mm -hmm. What was I saying? I'm in the middle of editing my moving slash room transformation vlog. That will be up soon. Follow me on all my socials if you would like. I have merch, link in the description. Go buy my merch, I like it. I think that's all. Oh wow. Hello everyone. What is going on? Oh my god. Welcome to a vlog. I haven't vlogged in so long, but because I moved to my because I moved to my new place, I thought I would vlog and show you sort of what I do now now that I've now that I have sort of established a routine. It is like nine o'clock. I've been up for a little bit. Unfortunately, I don't get out of bed right away. I'm working on that. I just kinda lem do y'all see them lips? Ow, bitch. I sort of just linger in bed, which is not good, but um, I thought I would show you sort of a day in my life, in my new home that I love so much. I just want to say that a... No thoughts, head empty. Ooh, I lost my train of thought. I'm just going to show you sort of what I just do in a day. Zoom a day. Yes. Anyways, I guess we'll just get up now. <laughs> just a little tutorial on how to make your bed. You just put the sheets and then you put it down and then on, on the bed and then this is how you do it. Welcome to my sheet tutorial. Hi, Gaucho. Hey, Gaucho. How are you? Say hi! <laughs> so this is Gaucho. That's really all you need to know. So yeah, that is my roommate's dog. He is an eight-year-old lab. This man slept with me in the bed last night. And so it was me, Waffle, and Gaucho. <laughs> And I was like hanging off the bed because this man is so big. This is the kitchen. It's red. Well, the cabinets are red and like the accents are red, but you know. Oh my god. 
The dogs bark at everything. All right, so it is about 10 o'clock now. I have been getting a lot of editing jobs lately. I have become an editor for a couple YouTubers. So today I actually have an editing job I need to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Tuesdays are usually my days that I... Motherfucker. Uh -oh. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, Tuesdays are usually my days where I film and partially edit my videos for Thursdays. But I think this video is going to go up on Thursday. So I'm like technically multitasking. Which I what never do. do. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not working. It's not working. Um, <coughs> I actually like really love this angle. It's like really cute. I just realized I have dried spit on my face. It's disgusting. Anyways, hi guys. So it's been about an hour and a half and I'm exporting a project. So we're done with one project. I have to do another one. But I just remembered yesterday, KFC and I think it's Beyond Burger. They announced that they were collaborating and coming out with meatless chicken. And they're doing it at one location only, and it's a location in Atlanta. Actually, it's in a suburb, suburb, it's in a suburb of Atlanta, and it's for today only. So it is about 11.40, and I really am trying to go get some of that. I have to send this video off to the person I edited for, and then I thought I would take you guys along, and we're gonna go get us a freaking I'm reading the article right now and it says that you can get a dipping sauce or you could have them tossed in Nashville hot sauce, buffalo or honey barbecue. I'm trying to get the Nashville hot. I love like when I tell you what's been going on. Lately I've been binge watching like from the start hot ones. If you don't know what that is, it's an interview show where like the celebrity guests will eat hot wings while answering questions. So I've been craving hot wings and so I think this is truly the perfect opportunity to get me some hot wings and they're meatless which is I don't know what it is about the meatless revolutionary that's going on right now but I am obsessed, addicted and I want to try everything like ooh, like my favorite restaurant right now in Atlanta is called Slutty Vegan and it is is so good even Courtney and Azure my two friends who love me love burgers all that stuff they were like this is good and they like wanted more so if you're ever sort of in the area I would definitely and we literally had to wait an hour and a half it was crazy the line is out the door every time it's so popular but I'm rambling anyways I know the line is gonna be thick as fuck because it is 1140 and it's lunchtime and people are gonna want to be getting on it I'm expecting to wait I'm wearing my merch Get my merch down below. <sighs> Smells bad. So I just looked um, on the Beyond Me Instagram and they were saying that the line, this was 40 minutes ago, so the line is probably much longer now. They were saying the line is a quarter mile long right now. Bruh. So that's really good. I'm just, I'm feeding for some hot chicken. I really am. I tell you I waited for two hours in line I'm not kidding and not only did I wait for two hours the second I got into line I realized my phone was on 5% fucking stupid rookie mistake I did so much excuse me I did so much people watching in that two hours it is sickening I stared at everyone in that line every person that walked by <laughs> stare <laughs> what for look Look, Bubba, who's that? Ew. And on top of that, <laughs> I just remembered this. There was a man waiting in line that dead ass <laughs> looked exactly like Colonel Sanders, which is the mascot or the spokesperson for KFC. <laughs> yep. Oh, my. I look a mess. Oh, my God. I literally waited two hours. 
Uh -oh. I waited two hours for this. I got a 12 piece. Oh my God. Apparently I have so much to say, but basically that was such a big deal. I was probably in a hundred different videos. I found me looking like a scrape dummy in this woman's video. Here's a still of me from another person's video that got 50,000 views. And I just noticed that my back fat folds this is news to me camera crews the whole beyond me crew was there the news i mean i guess it is the only location that's doing this in it in the world but holy shit my phone is dead oh there she is love i'm so fucking excited okay we're gonna try to get out of here and then i'll catch up with you when i get home it's been overcast for like three days so there wasn't like any blaring sun but it was still really humid i'm home i tweeted about this and i got so many replies asking me how it is and if I could like talk about it. So here we go. I also got a side, I got a small fry, but they gave me three small fries. We're gonna go ahead and try it. Um, ooh, they actually look so fucking realistic. Look at all that, it looks so good. They are marinated in the na- <laughs> I'm a food channel. They smell really good. Mmm. Oh my God, it was good. I got a 12 count, cause I'm, cause I'm hungry and hefty. I put some ranch on it. I did not realize how big of a deal this was until I got there. Um, but wow, that looks so realistic. Like they had like Beyond Me corporate was there. They like, it looked kind of funny to be honest. It looked like how, that's so good. It kind of reminded me um, of when like your fifth grade class would have like a special like parent luncheon. And they would put like the really cheap plastic tablecloths over the tables. It looked like that. <laughs> But it was cute. So there was a couple that was blogging. They had a whole mukbang set up. And my phone died, so I couldn't take any photos of any of it. But And then there was like a girl from PETA there doing like a whole video. This is all from KFC. That's crazy. Oh. Wow. Honestly, if this is the future of fast food, I'm not mad. The texture is just like chicken. Obviously, you can taste like a little bit of soy or whatever they use. But like, it, it's like a chicken. It's like a chicken finger. I've like literally. I've been wanting this for so long. Are you doing a week of my life? I'm doing a day of my life, ugly. <laughs> Courtney's here and we're gonna record the podcast today. We tried recording it yesterday, but it didn't work because it just didn't work. <laughs> we had we had a lot of technical issues. My trip to Hilton Head, South Carolina. It all started off on a dreary ride from Atlanta to Hilton Head Island. It was gloomy and rainy the whole trip over, but nevertheless, we persisted onward. We even saw some cool signage along the way. When we arrived, I was looking sharp as fuck. Can't tell me anything. The first place we went was this hot sauce store. They even had the hot sauces from Hot Ones. I tried one little dollop and literally my life flashed before my eyes. I was gonna get a bottle, but a whole ass bottle was 16 bucks, so no fucking thank you. Y'all can kiss my ass. Then we went to some, ugh, it wasn't my choice. It was my friend Elena's choice. Went to some gimmicky ass, tourist ass stores that had a bunch of weird shit that only tourists would probably get. Like, I don't think I've stepped in one of these stores since I was probably like 10 on a vacation with my parents to the beach wow oh my gosh um i think this is like so hard i will take this one then we did some wine tasting which was actually kind of cute and yummy and i literally think that's all the footage i got so <laughs> hey everyone um this is an original by me pussy lips <laughs> sorry that was so stupid gotcha come <laughs> Gaucho, what you got to say? Gaucho, please, the people want to know, what do you have to say? Riveting. How do you think um, heteronormativity has affected the way that the upcoming generation has, um, you know, developed their relationships? You know, seeing so much um, heteronormativity uh, normat probably really has a lot to do with the way that people are scared of, um, you know, gays and gay rights what do you think that has to do with anything oh, <laughs> 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 
sorry. We're done here. In the time when I sometimes don't upload videos, you can find me on all my socials. You can find me on Deep Fried, the podcast, my podcast that I have with one of my good friends. I just want to say I love you guys so much. I never want you to think I'm taking you for granted. Sometimes you just got to care for yourself. And that goes for everyone out there, whatever you're doing, whether it's school, a nine to five, whatever you're doing, be kind to yourself. All right. Bye. And that's all period. Haha. <laughs>